Super 73 is one of the most prominent American manufacturers of personal mobility vehicles. Over the course of their existence, Super 73 managed to form a reputation of a reliable producer of stylish motorcycles, inspired electric bicycles, but it turns out that the brand is planning to go way past producing only throttle-powered bicycles. Their C1X concept previews the future lightweight electric motorcycle concept that's to be sold under the Super 73 brand. It's supposed to serve as an entry model for those who like to get a taste of riding all electric motorcycles. Engineers tried to keep this two-wheeler as light and compact as possible. It'll have a 51-inch wheelbase, roll on 15-inch wheels, and have the seat height of 31 inches. C1X will be brought into motion by means of an electric motor of an undisclosed capacity with a chain drive, but the manufacturer assured that it would be powerful enough to reach the highway speed of 75 miles per hour. The battery capacity and chemistry are to be unveiled in the future, but the company is aiming for the 100 miles of the city range and fast charging capabilities. With the level 2 charging, you should be juiced up to about 80% in less than 60 minutes. The list of other specifications that have already been announced include fork and rear monoshock suspension, bright daytime running lights, and an LED headlamp. The production-ready model is likely to enter the market in late 2023, and you can already place a refundable deposit for this bike. It would be just $73. Land Moto is an Ohio-based manufacturer of light electric motorcycles that weighs less than 200 pounds. Their current model range consists of three products, standard, street, and scrambler motorcycles. Land Moto designed their product as a transitional vehicle between a bicycle and a motorcycle. Each model is equipped with a smart power management system that lets you control the power output from 750 watts to 12 kilowatts. When the lowest power mode is engaged, the Land motorcycles would perform as Class II electric bicycles with a 20 mile per hour speed limiter. The highest power setting turns these two-wheelers into highway-ready motorcycles with 70 mile per hour speed capabilities. The standard modification comes equipped with a 1.8 kilowatt hour battery pack with hot swapping capabilities. This battery pack is good for 40 miles of riding, but the manufacturer offers two longer range battery setups with either 3.6 or 5 kilowatt hours of additional capacity. Other standard equipment includes dual piston front and rear brakes, Pirelli Angel City tires, Fox full air rear suspension, inverted front forks with cartridge internals, and aluminum wheels. The manufacturer also offers a series of upgrades and additional gear that includes, but not limited to, scrambler tires, three color options, shock upgrades, fender options, a digital display, and a headlight with a tail light kit. After launching their first mini bike in Europe and Asia last year, the Taiwanese Tromax is ready to present another electric motorcycle that it hopes to import to the United States in 2022. Quite compact in size, the Yuko S has similar styling to the Mino sibling, but boasts a healthy boost in performance and agility. Instead of producing just 2.2 kilowatt, its mid-mounted electric motor now peaks at 7 kilowatts, while its torque rating increases to 150 pound-feet. These figures are enough to propel the 240-pound bike to its top speed of 62 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. The model also easily climbs 22-degree slopes, gets additional ABS and CBS systems, and packs a 4-kilowatt-hour blade battery. Finally, it comes outfitted with a longer seat and rear foot pegs, suggesting two-passenger capability. Over the course of its existence, the Sondors brand has produced a variety of quality products, but it seems that none of them has been so highly anticipated as the upcoming Metacycle. With this new product, the company will attempt to revolutionize the class of electric motorcycles with a low-cost model capable of highway speed. The Metacycle has gorgeous hollow aluminum frame design and a retro-inspired halo headlight. 
The motorbike's rear hub motor generates up to 14.5 kilowatts at the peak, so don't be surprised to see the 80 mile per hour speed on the display. This new commuting tool by Sondors has a 4 kilowatt hour battery pack to cover an 80 mile ride, weighing 300 pounds, and possesses some worthy components like Kenda tires, powerful hydraulic brakes, adjustable suspension, a wireless charger, and a full color smart screen. At the moment, the company is accepting pre-orders for this model with the class leading price of just $6,000. Consumers from both the USA and Europe are eligible to receive this two-wheeler. During this reservation process, you can choose between three motorcycle color variations and leave a fully refundable deposit in order to get in line for the Metacycle. A South Korean company that specializes in development of platforms and components for electric vehicles has recently unveiled their compact electric motorbike. This city commuting vehicle received an attention-grabbing retro look with colorful side panels and useful storage boxes on the sides. The model is motivated by a BLDC in-wheel motor capable of putting out 8 kilowatts of peak power. This powertrain component has enough kick to let you reach the top speed of 62 miles per hour. The bike's frame features wooden and aluminum components and has a large battery pack area in the middle, consists of 21,700 lithium-ion batteries, and has the overall capacity of 7.2 kilowatt hours. This amount of battery units is said to provide up to 100 miles of emission-free riding and can be replenished with the help of an onboard charger. The history of Torque Motors began six years ago when the company promised to bring an affordable electric two-wheeler for Indian customers. They even backed up their promise by unveiling the T6X bike concept. Although the road from concept to production stage has taken longer than most potential customers anticipated, the company did deliver to their promises and started the production of their motorcycle in 2022. This electric city motorcycle weighs 308 pounds and will be offered in two trims, namely the Kratos and Kratos R. The Kratos is equipped with an axial flux motor and a single gear transmission with a chain drive system. The bike's motor produces 7.5 kilowatts of peak output and 28 pound-feet of torque, thus enabling you to travel at speeds close to 60 miles per hour. The estimated riding range of this model would depend on the chosen power setting. The Eco Riding Mode would let you travel up to 75 miles on a charge, while the High Performance Sports Mode would drain the 4 kilowatt hour battery pack after 44 miles of riding. The Kratos R modification comes equipped with a slightly more powerful 9 kilowatt motor, supports fast charging, and has 65 mile per hour top speed capabilities. Speaking of the fast charging, this option would let you top up the battery from 0 to 80% in just one hour. E125 is a lightweight electric motorbike that represents the segment of low-budget, short-range city commuting vehicles that were developed to show performance similar to the 125cc class. This two-wheeler weighs 196 pounds and features a brushless 3-kilowatt motor with regenerative deceleration feature and 55 mile per hour speed capabilities. E125 is equipped with disc brakes both in the front and in the rear, has adjustable hydraulic suspension, and has a maximum carrying capacity of 350 pounds. Even though the base model comes with a single 72-volt, 35-amp-hour battery, the second pack could be purchased separately. For a relatively small cost, you can double your range and look for a charger less frequently. The estimated range a single battery can provide is 50 miles. So, with a dual battery setup, you can go for up to 100 miles without looking for a plug. It should be noted that the range estimations may vary depending on the chosen riding mode, Eco, Comfort, or Sport. When depleted, the full battery charge can be restored in 3.5 hours.
Even though V-Moto Soco have already done several significant updates to their electric motorcycle and scooter range this year, the brand continues to innovate and has used the latest Milan Motorcycle Show to reveal one more upcoming model. The two-wheeler is to be brought into motion by powertrain duo consisting of a 6-kilowatt hub motor and a 72-volt, 100-amp-hour battery pack. Once fully charged, this battery unit can provide up to 150 miles of riding at speeds below 28 miles per hour. Please note that the bike is capable of reaching the top speed of 65 miles per hour, but riding at higher speeds drains the battery at a much higher rate. This bike will be brought to the market with a quirky nameplate, the Stash. The reason for the name could be explained by a generous amount of storage that the bike offers, so you can stash away all your motorcycling essentials in one place. This joint project of the Ukrainian companies Gion and EMGO Technology has been under the development for the last five years. And after two prototypes, it's ready for pre-orders. The model borrows styling cues from one of Gion's ice-powered two-wheelers and features a highly visible tubular frame, a rounded LED headlamp, and standard all-terrain tires. Its powertrain is represented by a BLDC electric motor that's hooked up to a four-speed gearbox. As a result, the powertrain shows the peak power output of 15.8 kilowatts at 5,000 RPM and is capable of pushing this two-wheeler to the speed of 75 miles per hour. The bike's battery pack is using LG cells and can provide up to 70 miles of riding at the 75 mile per hour speed. The range estimations at the 28 mile per hour speed are close to 125 miles. This battery pack is rated for 3,000 discharge cycles and can be fully recharged in two hours with its onboarding charging system. The bike is equipped with reinforced rims, spokes, and hubs, and has inverted telescopic fork in the front and a steel pendulum monoshock absorber in the rear. The braking system is represented by 270 millimeter front disc brakes and two-piston caliper rear disc brakes. Described by its creators as the world's first premium lightweight electric motorbike, the Novus is priced on par with some cars but has some incredible innovations to justify the price tag. The German Novus is almost entirely made of carbon fiber and is regarded by the company as a piece of art on wheels. Its swing arm and front mono fork use this lightweight material. Same goes for the frame that hides the rear suspension and weighs just 15 pounds. Novus bike has the carrying capacity of 275 pounds. The model itself tips the scales at just 165 pounds, though the bulk of this mass is of course the drivetrain. It consists of a 30 kilowatt direct drive electric motor integrated into the rear rim and a non-removable 4.3 kilowatt hour battery pack installed in the lower part of the frame. The Novus bike comes with a powerful cell phone app that could serve as a key that unlocks your bike with NFC and can be used to switch between power modes. The base mode limits the motor power to 7 kilowatts and lets you travel at speeds up to 55 miles per hour, while the highest power setting unlocks the 30 kilowatt power potential and 80 mile per hour top speed capabilities. Despite already having an extensive e-motorcycle lineup and some of the best electric powertrains in the class, Zero Motorcycles keeps innovating, introducing updates to their existing model range, as well as producing new bike models. FXE is their newest creation. In terms of looks, Zero FXE greatly resembles a concept that was created a couple of years ago. The bike's platform remained mainly unchanged compared to previous generation FX models. The powertrain specifications are as they follow. A passively air-cooled motor with 35 kilowatts of peak power and 78 pound-feet of torque. A 7.2 kilowatt-hour battery pack with fast charging capabilities and a clutchless direct drive transmission. With the curb weight below 300 pounds, this model shows zippy acceleration from the start and is capable of reaching the top speed of 85 miles per hour. 
The manufacturer's range estimations show 100 miles of city riding and 40 miles of highway commuting. The bike's integrated charger would need almost 10 hours to fully restore the battery charge. And there are optional charging accessories that would let you charge at higher speeds and get back on the road in less than two hours. The technological package for this model includes front and rear LED lights, a 5-inch color screen, and a smartphone application with riding mode controls. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.